Well, he is three months old, and today we finally got another look at royal baby George. He was dressed in his finest christening gown, surrounded by his parents, family members, and his seven godparents. And while William and Kate stuck to some royal traditions today, they also changed things up a little. Britain's Prince George in his father's arms arriving at Chapel Royal of St. James Palace, dressed in a replica of the christening gown worn by royals for more than 150 years. The original retired in 2004 when it was deemed too fragile by the Queen. And the Queen's dresser made it and she had to dye the lace in tea to make it have that kind of fawny colour. Today's momentous ceremony held not in the music room of Buckingham Palace where Prince William and Prince Harry were christened, but in this intimate setting, a place of great significance. It was Princess Diana's last resting place the night before she was buried, so um, it's where her coffin um, laid. With just 22 people in attendance, it is an important family affair. For the first time since 1894, four generations of royals photographed together. The Queen, along with the three heirs to the throne, Charles, William, and George. But Prince William and Kate are also breaking from tradition in a number of ways, including with their choice of godparents. No Harry or Pippa. In fact, only one member of the royal family was chosen, William's cousin, Zara Phillips. The other six godparents are the couple's close friends from school and trusted advisors. I think this is very much about the couple making sure that George is going to be raised as ordinary as he possibly can be. Seven godparents. Meanwhile, following the ceremony, the royal family had a private tea party with guests dining on slices of christening cake, which in fact is a tear from William and Kate's wedding cake. Leon. I'm with you on the seven godparents. <laughs> that kid won't be able to get away with anything. <laughs> you know Too it. many eyes. <laughs> All right. Coming